Now let's study, what is scattering of light? The spreading of light by particles, in a mixture is termed as, the scattering of light. Tyndall effect, refers to the phenomenon of scattering of light. Tyndall effect. When a beam of light, passes through a colloidal solution, the path of light becomes visible, due to the scattering of light by the colloid particles. This is known as Tyndall effect. The Earth's atmosphere contains air molecules, water droplets, dust, and smoke etc. When sunlight passes through the atmosphere, the path of the light becomes visible, due to the scattering of light by these particles. The color of the scattered light, depends upon the size of the scattering particles. Very fine particles scatter blue light. Larger particles scatter different colors of light. To observe the time doll effect, the particles diameter should be less than 1 by 20th of the wavelength of the light used. Now let's know why the color of the clear sky is blue. When sunlight passes through the atmosphere, the fine particles in the atmosphere scatter the blue color more strongly due to its shorter wavelength compared to red color, which has longer wavelength, so the sky appears blue. If the earth had no atmosphere, there would not be any scattering of light, and the sky would appear dark. The sky appears dark at very high altitudes. Why is red color selected for danger signals? Red color is used for danger signals, because it is least scattered by fog or smoke, due to its longer wavelength, which is 1.8 times greater than blue light. So it can be seen in the same color at far distances. Now, let's study about, color of the sun at sunrise, and sunset. Sky appears in blue, and red colors, at sunrise and sunset times. To understand this concept, let us do an experiment. To do this experiment, required apparatus are, strong source, S, converging lens, L1, glass tank, T, 200 grams of sodium thiosulfate. Place a strong source S of white light, at the focus of a converging lens L1. This lens provides light beam of light. Allow the light beam to pass through a transparent glass tank T containing clear water. Allow a beam of light to pass through a circular hole C made in a cardboard. Obtain a sharp image of the circular hole on a screen M in using a second converging lens L2. Dissolve about 200 grams of sodium thiosulfate hypo in about 2 liters of clean water taken in the tank. Add about 1 to 2 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid to the water. As a result, we can observe that blue light from the three sides of the glass tank. This is due to scattering of short wavelengths by colloidal sulfur particles. The fourth side of glass tank, the transmitted light facing the circular hole, is an orange red color first, and then it is bright red color on the screen. At sunrise and at sunset, the sun is near the horizon, and the light from the sun travels through the thicker layers of the atmosphere, and longer distance through the atmosphere. Near the horizon, most of the blue light, and shorter wavelengths are scattered away by the particles of the air, and the red light and longer wavelengths reaches our eyes. So the sun appears reddish at sunrise and sunset.